Oh me oh my, what is poor Triple H aka Paul Levesque should do now that his father-in-law, Vincent McMahon is back in charge at WWE? That's the million dollar question we will try to explore on today's episode. Let's admit it, everyone in the world is assuming that Vince McMahon will be taking over creative, which means storylines. On the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania 39, Triple H came out at the beginning of the show to talk about nothing changing in WWE. And yet, he was on stage while someone else was handling the headset and production, who could that be? Oh yes, it was the chairman of the board, Vince McMahon. You know what else is happening on the April 7, 2023 edition of Friday Night Smackdown? Triple H is reportedly coming out again to talk to the fans in the ring. Vince McMahon will be on headset either from home or at the arena. Let's face it, this would mean that Triple H will have to make a few decisions as it comes to his current career, title and role in the company because Vince isn't letting go of the storylines. Number 1, Triple H can stay with WWE and his father-in-law and see the cookie crumble, that means that Vince will be in control of everything. He will be making changes to the little things and big things. This will be done pre-Raw or pre-Smackdown as well as during the shows, and we know that a change during a segment last minute is definitely a Vince thing. NXT will revert to its fruity colors and he will have Shawn Michaels do last minute changes to the programming. Vince will fire those that Triple H brought back, he will then fire even more employees because it's good for business, which is true in a sale or merger. Option number 2 for Triple H is to retire completely from any type of wrestling work in front and behind cameras. Triple H is already well off, being a wrestler for many years as well as a VP or director of creative for years. Also, his wife is richer than him, so there's nothing to worry financially for him nor his family. The other important reason to retire is his health. Running an international corporation like the WWE and its creative aspects is definitely a pain in the ass. It's too stressful to the heart. Option number 3 is to be a consultant. After he leaves the WWE, someone from another wrestling company. Like oh I don't know, maybe, Tony Khan, can hire him as a consultant to restructure oh, make storylines for his shows, improve Rampage, and maybe have an injector school to bring in new talent in the future. Tony Khan definitely needs the help. He's not the worst storyline teller in the world, he's not a bad boss, what he is and I say this with all respect, he's an overworked idiot. How can you run AO, part of the Jaguars organization as well as an English soccer team? Just look at his eyes, he looks so tired and anxious. Triple H became a master storyteller, a master in a sense I way to his students, and is loved by all of the wrestlers. The final option is that he and Stephanie pull their money to create a rival wrestling organization with funding from some organization or the Saudis. Stephanie would handle the business side, while Triple H would handle the wrestling side. Well there you have it ladies and gentlemen, Triple H's options. Which one would be occurring in the next year or two? Let us know your thoughts in the comment area. Thanks for watching.